Alright, we're continuing Wasteland 3 playthrough. We have to talk to Major Prasad. We just wiped out all the Dorseys on the dam here. And uh, we got ourselves a rocket launcher, which is awesome. Major Prasad's breath steams from her clenched teeth. Her guts are spilling through her bloody fingers. Oh no! Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Yeah, we did, but we left her. Uh, Private Bell, she should be here soon. Bell's a good kid. Thank you. You did well. Now. By the way, do this. Crap. I'm bleeding all over the paperwork. Uh, we need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. Okay. We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't, and the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the Secret Orders. Secret Orders? How secret? Who else knows about them? Uh, only me. Uh, got them from Got them from General Woodson. When we first heard from the Patriarch... General Woodson sent an, sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela Dev. But they went dark. We have to find them. All right. Uh, who's Angela Dev? Part of the Ranger squad that took down base Cochise 20 years ago. Only one who's, who's still alive. She's like a legend, I guess. Almost died on a mission in California, but, but she found her way home. Can't, can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. Give me a second. Catch my breath. We can go. Oh, we can't do anything here. Let's uh, help her up. Oh, no. As you pull her up, her shaky smile comes an agonized grimace. You look down her intestines and out of her tumbling keys. Oh. <gasps> He crumples to the ground, dead. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and loot this, which gives us scout armor. I don't know what the expert pipes are for? Scout pants, army rifle, and some ammo. I mean, dude, we're out here fighting, fighting for survival, right? We, we we gotta do what we gotta do here. Combat speed. I think we give that to this guy. Armor plus three. I guess he is the one that is like deep in there. I'll remove that injury from you. You do that also. Target her with the injury kit. Okay, but the waste in wasteland. There's also a smoke grenade. Hmm. So we, I'm, I'm sure we're gonna keep the frag grenade there, but this is probably good also. What does she have? Maybe the smoke grenade would be better than the yellow snowball. Right. Oh no, you're the one who needs this. Do another one. Cool. Go. What is that? Major Tomcat. Oh. As you get close to see a cat has a dog tag rather than a collar, which is embossed in the name Tom. Oh, Animal Whisperer. Ground control to Major Tom Cats. Time to leave the tree branch if you dare. No. <clears throat> Major Tom knows which way to go. You really made the grade. We just get 
Oh, Major Tomcat! Hey! Oh my goodness! Uh, you just try it. You deserve a scritch behind the hat, Major Tomcat. Oh man. Dude, as someone who actually has a cat, this is awesome. And. Oh, it doesn't necessarily show up there. Critical chance was 6%. There's a weapon crate here. With a rocket. Good for us. The Major Tomcat doesn't necessarily count as a thing, but it counts more as a status boost. They did. Fuck this place. Fuck it. We found the Kodiak, apparently. Dude, we found a cat. We found like a big tank. What else is there to find? These have been great. Loading screen though, please. Loading screen plus. Man. You're still on the loading screen here? Oh. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. And Major Tomcat, don't forget. Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. What is that? That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. <laughs> this one was... Trying to burn down oh, it's a prisoner. Our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. The prisoner. I thought it was like uh, some sort of animal. Oh no, we don't have that. He's your prisoner. You can have the honors. If you insist. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> been too long since I've dealt with my problems firsthand. I'd like to do the same to all the Dorseys. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. Gotcha. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. Oh, I'll accept it. Um. Thank you, Patriarch. We appreciate anything you can do for us. I'm glad to find you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Now. <sighs> 
introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado. Though you he owns Colorado. Colorado. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now, which is what? That's yes, cool. It's like a sledgehammer Brandon, with a fist. Patriarch, it's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretsky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. Talk to Marshal Kwan and Sergei uh, Gretsky. Died the base. Who is talk to Jody Bell first? I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. Is that all right with you? She didn't even help the whole last fight, man. How are your injuries recovering? Okay. Uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. Later. Thanks for not being helpful. This person's like a robot. Okay, then don't talk to me. One side. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan. And this here is Sergei Gretsky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us, too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. What were the Dorsey's after? The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. Oh no, you make me do that? How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. So this place is ours now? Yep. Noisy alarms and all. Courtesy of the Patriarch. We can talk more once we get a little peace. Enter the war room, make wake the base's main systems. I wanna see something here real quick. Hmm. Alright, let's go. What do we do with these robots? Alarm? We got Major Tomcat over there. What? Uh. <laughs> Your security system is showing signs of neglect. We're from IT. We're here to fix you. <laughs> oh man, dude, look at look at him. I can't zoom in anymore, but all right, let's move in. Move in. Terminal is dusting all, but when you press the power button, it flickers to life. The computer beeps and whirs for the first time in years. As it boots up, security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access the menu is met with command access only. Which will you query the machine for commands I didn't need and replies to command empty designate new command? Yes, install to yourself as command. Camera flashes above the monitor and terrible photos of your faces slowly appear on the screen line by line. Command recognized security alert cancelled. Thank you! We got the security alarm out. Oh, would you look at that? Well done, Ranger. Establishing our new Ranger HQ. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh yes, the reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons, Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Wait, the names. 
two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. Well, that's unfortunate. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Ah. Are you asking us to become assassins? What? You think I want to kill my kids? You think I'm even afraid of them? I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home. Alive! They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Uh, perfectly clear. Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Well, thank you for the briefing, Patriarch. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. There's like two of us, man! Sounds like a piece of cake. Cocky, huh? Cocky's good. As long as you can back it up. Alright. Let's move out. We just leveled up. Again. What is that? You just is that fire? You just still on fire? Or no? Dude, give me more people. Mission lock, got it. Attributes. Oh, starting level three, ranges will earn one attribute point per level. Attributes always cost one point to upgrade. Attributes are a source of all your vital stats. Want to live longer, run faster, shoot straight, or hit harder? Attributes for that. Okay. Um, I think speed and strength are probably what we want to go with this one. We are melee based after all. You need to upgrade more melee combat. Do animal whisperer, actually. And uh, these guys are all just give me one first aid. Yeah, I'm sure someone. As that can you let's give her some attributes so awareness and charisma dude hit chance absolutely and let's give her her two of that and kiss ass one more cool inventory okay, what does it want me to do I maybe you should have listened to that one Field strip. I think it just gets rid of it. Yep, it does. Okay. Ooh. 
Yeah, we can't mod anything on here, I don't think. Okay. Both move out of here. Come talk to me when you've got a moment. All right, let's talk then. Staffing and recruiting. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quite enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretsky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And they already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. What does that mean, my radio operator? Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. He's not even going to help us on the field, this Should guy. Recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Speak to Sergeant Gretzky to hire new rangers for your squad. Your squad can have up to six members, and no more than four can be rangers. The other two slots may be filled by companions, such as Marshal Kwan. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers, but want to help you out all the same. You'll find plenty of companions on your journey throughout Colorado. Okay, show us who you've got lined up. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. All right. Get to add one person here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Level three hacker, level three trooper. Level 3 Modder Commander Explosives Expert Whoa, we got a lot of stuff in here, man Inventor Level 3 Trooper We already have a Sniper We want a Combat Medic or Do we want a Trader? Do we have any Barter, Small Arms Lock Picking, we have, we have that Brawling Survivalist. Okay. Let's see. Mechanic. Small arms and weapon modding. He's got a shotgun. He's a preacher. Explosives and leadership automatic weapons. Let's take preacher. Oh, do we just... Oh, we get more? Big gun. Small arms, toast to repair, and weird science. Professor Higgs. Cool. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need, but if you meet any talented people in your uh. travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Sure, I mean, I'll do that. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now, you're the boss here. So I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Uh, we should get the place staffed up. Any ideas? Well, I can take care of the rank and file, but you're going to want mechanics, medics, an armory officer, that sort of thing. A competent staff is important when the going gets tough. Helping Sheriff Daisy could be a first step. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Cool. Meanwhile, I'll start cleaning up here. Take a look around before you go. See if you want to keep any of this junk before we dump it all. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. A few more questions. Uh, what was the radio operator saying about putting combat AI in our vehicle? Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle order 
characters in combat without having to be inside. Wow, them. that's awesome. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. Oh. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Oh, I'd love that. Thanks, you could use the help. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. <clears throat> companions. Recruit our first companion. Companions are a unique kind of squad member. I like the Rangers. Your great companions are pre made characters. They have their own personality and agenda. Piss them off and they could leave you high and dry. Yep, we can have up to six. Four of them can be Ranger recruits. Leave at least two spots open for companions. There's no reason not to take them along, provided you can maintain their loyalty. Um. They kind of mentioned something about looking around here first, so why don't we do that? There's a bunch of stuff in here we could uh, take, maybe. I just saw someone in there. Pretty grand in here. Wait, hold on. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Hold on, Brand guys. Ball court. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Attributes. All right, sir, you've got charisma and coordination. Okay, we'll give you coordination and uh, automatic weapons. That should be good for now and explosive. All right, for this guy, intelligence and speed is what he wants. I'm going to stack up on intelligence. Professor Higgs. Beard science. Yeah, let's just stack up on weird science. Give him some small arms. Alright, Marshall Kwan. I don't think I can... I do wonder, can I actually equip stuff for him? It does look like it, doesn't it? That I, I would be able to equip stuff for him. Assault rifle, assault rifle. He's got that. Hmm. Injury kit, sure, I guess. Doesn't have that first aid. You can have nitro spike. Yellow snowball, I guess. Alright, so we do have the rust bucket here. Or he has rust bucket. We have army rifle. It's probably better. Give the other guy it in case he needs it. Enforcer. Okay, enforcer, sniper, trooper, inventor, lawkeeper. That does not look like that as his character model, but I think what I'm gonna do here. Uh over here and do stuff. We got this. Oh, it's getting wild. Combat started. Armor system, yep, I understand. Okay. Who's going next? Yes. You're joking, dude. Two AP. All right. Got him. Let's 
Let's hide over there. Did this guy like our attack here? Or AP. Alright. Let's just defend. Out of range, huh? Okay, never mind, never mind. Right over here, let's uh, prepare. Enemy turn. Oh no, poison spy. Ouch. Oh, Major Tomcat! Dude, you're joking, man. How are you gonna miss that? There we go. Awesome. That was, uh, annoying. There's stuff here. Watch, okay. What is this? Fallen billboard. Power button on the machine resistor press, seemingly rest in place, makes a sandy crunch. Green comes to life with a sad beep. Read failure. Uh, let's not do that. Can they do much for us. How oh, are we supposed to find like treasure and stuff over here? I think we found our enemies. If there's a refugee over here. Please, don't shoot. Woman is gone, her clothes ragged. She's surrounded by a group of bedraggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Who, who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. We're the rangers. Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. He shoots a fearful look at Quan, but he doesn't seem to notice. Uh, sorry, but you have to leave. Of course. That's what I knew you'd say. We'll go to the city then. Beg for food like the others do. Won't be any more trouble for you. Come on, everyone. Gather up your things. Oh, that's uh customizing appearance, okay. Container over here. I mean we're just taking it all? Hacking objects. Brute force will still work sometimes. Okay. Take that. What is this? In can.
after this guy. Moving at you through the bars of a cell's pale, frail, thin man with matted hair and fraying fringe clothes gives you a lazy, glassy eyed grin. Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before. Uh, have I? How uh, are the new landlords are in charge here now? Oh, wow. Wow. Hey. <laughs> new uh, landlords. That's cool, man. Cool. <laughs> I hope taking over is uh, going good for you. What, uh, what brought you out here? Sorry, that's top secret. Oh, sure, top secret. So you're part of some important organization, huh? You look like you're uh, real important, you know? I can see it in your pretty eyes. Do you have um, more people in your group? What? What question is that? Uh, that's not something you need to know. Oh, so not many then. Don't worry, you'll make new friends, I bet. No. You, uh, you seem real friendly and nice. Be sarcastic. Hey, what, uh, what? I've actually got a couple questions for you, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, man, of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. Why are you in there? Because, uh, the cell door is... <laughs> Do you want us to let you out? I uh, wasn't gonna bring it up. Didn't want to seem like <laughs> presumptuous, but since you asked, oh man, yes, yes, please, very much. Um, you're calling this one, Rangers, but really, I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd really. Okay, we'll find a way to get you out. Really? Oh, man. Yeah, man. You're just the tops. The beanies. I'm like a I nice dude. You big time. Oh, yay. Thank, uh, thank you so much, man. I owe you. Thanks for uh, the assist, dudes. All right. Get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. Alright, I think we go ahead and save here. Kind of explored a little bit of uh, our area. I kind of want to go do the mission, so. Cool. Mission types primary and secondary mission. Oh my goodness, they want us to go do... Yeah, they gave you a level 17 mission. Obviously, we're not going to go do that. So, yeah, I mean, obviously. Anyway, that's it for this.